Hello guys, this is Kiran Kovi Rashid. I am a motion graphic designer from Bangladesh, a small country of South Asia. That's why you have this weird accent. And this is my YouTube channel, uh, where I put uh, many tutorials about motion graphic on After Effects. So, today we are going to learn this. Before we begin our tutorial, please be sure to subscribe our channel and click the bell icon then send me all notification for this channel and press the save button. That's how you can get all the notification for our uploads. At first import all your necessary files from the download link below. Now create a new composition 1280 by 720 and 30 fps name it main now bring your logo to our timeline adjust the size and create a new solid by pressing ctrl y Give it the gradient filter and click to radial, switch to radial, swap colors and make it like this. Now select the logo and pre-compose it by pressing Ctrl Shift C. Name it logo here. Now again select the logo and press Ctrl Shift C to make it another pre-compose and name it logo. Now duplicate it several times by pressing Ctrl D. Now search for Vegas effect and apply it to the first layer. Now follow my steps. Now draw a rectangle shape which should have this type of field, gradient field. Black, white, black, white, black, white. Now go under the section of gradient field and start point. Make this uh, two number zero and adjust this two number. to make it look like this. Now search for tile effect and apply the CC reptile effect to the first layer. Now follow my instruction. Now search for the transform effect and apply it to the first layer. Skew it a little bit. Now apply a fast blur on this layer. Give it a blurriness of uh, about 20. Now make the opacity of this layer 80%. Now precompose this layer by going layer precompose. Move all attributes and uncheck the open new composition. Now bring it down and go to the top layer. Under Vegas, make it transparent. Now set the track mat to alpha mat. Now you have to animate the length of this Vegas effect. Click the stopwatch button 
and make it zero. Reveal it on timeline. Go to one second and make it one. Now duplicate it again by Ctrl D several times. Now search for fill effect and apply it to the first layer. Make it a grey color. Now select the upper layer and search for grid effect. Apply it to the layer. Make it invert and follow my instruction. Now apply a transform effect and again a fast blur effect. Make a slight rotation on transform effect and a slight blurriness on fast blur effect. Delete a copy because we don't need that and select one. Apply here gradient ramp effect and follow my instruction. Now select the layer under it and make it luma matte. Now adjust those points of gradient ramp and grid corner control point according to your taste of reflection. Now select those three layers and make it pre-compose by pressing shift ctrl c. Name them grey reveal. Now make a solid by pressing ctrl y. Now give it a mask by rectangular shape tool. Now animate the mask expansion from zero until the whole layer cover the composition. Now make some feather adjustment and go to the previous keyframe. Bring it to the beginning of the composition. Make the mask expansion lower so that you can see nothing here. Now select the grey reveal layer and make it alpha matte. Now adjust those keyframe for the mask expansion. Now delete all excessive layers. Now drag a original logo layer to the last keyframe and select those layers, press T, make the stopwatch button clicked and go to 2 seconds and make the opacity 0. Select the last 2 keyframes, go to keyframe assistant and time reverse keyframe. That's how you can get this type of transition between these two layers. Now select all keyframe, right click to a keyframe, go to keyframe assistant and make them easy ease.
Now get a new null layer. And select all layer except the last one. Toggle all switch and make all of the layer 3D. Now again select all layer except the last one and the first one. And make them link with the null one layer. Now we can control all the layers by null one. Select null one, press R and press the stopwatch for Y rotation. Make it minus 360 degree. Go to one second and make it minus 90 degree. Delete the one beside here. Now go to one second 15 frame and make it zero. Now bring those flares from the project panel to the timeline. Select both and make them screen blend mode. Adjust that duration. Make the opacity lower for the down flare which is flare 1. Make the opacity 70%. Now bring the audio file to the timeline and make a render preview. Rename the null layer to controller and make a scale animation of it such as 0 to 80 percent. Select the last keyframe, right click it and keyframe assistant and make it easy is in. Now here is your intro. If you like my work then hit the like button if you're new to my channel then please be sure to subscribe and if you have any problem regarding this tutorial then don't hesitate to comment below goodbye for today but stay tuned because more awesome tutorial is yet to come